Hello YouTube. Welcome to my first ever survival guide. In this video I will be listing 10 survival tips for Daisy. This video is for people who are new days to Daisy, people who want to play Daisy in the future. Um, experienced players who might need a little more help in staying alive and any and practically any player in between. Don't forget to like this video, comment on how well you think I did in this video share this video on the internet support my channel by subscribing to it and I know s some of the clips in this video may not add up to whatever I filmed because I died a little too much and I thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. When you first start playing Daisy, you need to find a weapon. With the threat from the zombie horde and other players, you will not survive for long. It is important that you find a gun and ammo, but if you cannot find one, a melee weapon will do just fine. I prefer finding a gun because it only takes one shot to kill a zombie or a player and you don't run the risk of being bitten by a zombie or hit by another player's melee weapon. In Daisy you will need to collect food and drinks in the zombie apocalypse, food is scarce, so you will need to find as many food and drinks as you can. You will need to eat and drink a lot to stay alive. You need to have plenty of digital supplies in Daisy to stay alive because you are most likely to be bitten by a zombie or hurt by another player and bleed which is a death sentence unless you can bandage the wound. Anything from ripping a shirt up into rags to finding a first aid kit which will prove useful for stopping the bleed. In Daisy when the sun sets it can get pretty dark and hard to see things so you need to collect plenty of batteries to power your torch. I prefer finding a light attachment for your gun or a head torch so you can always be armed and ready to shoot or 
hack a zombie or another player. Now you need somewhere to put these items. This is where you have to find a backpack and clothes that have more space that allow you to stock up on all of the essentials including food, ammo, whatever you need to survive. Backpacks, shirt and pants pockets only have a limited amount of space in them. It is important to keep in mind to not carry things that you do not need, such as books and damaged items. More importantly, figure out what you need right now. If you find an item, ask yourself, do I need it? After using the weapons, tools and clothing, you will find after a while they will start to get damaged and eventually break. Fortunately, there are repair kits that you can find to fix and maintain them. In DAISY, you may need to find a map and a compass to figure out where you are and plot courses to Pacific locations that you would like to go and explore. In your travels you may come across another player. He or she may kill, help or team up with you. This is where you need to be on your guard. Even if they do team up with you they may shoot you in the back and take your valuables. There are benefits to having a loyal team player, such as being able to carry more stuff and watch each other's backs. But to be on the safe side, if you don't trust them, kill them on sight and take their stuff for your own benefits. In a zombie apocalypse like Daisy you will most likely encounter a zombie. This is the reason you need to prepare yourself with a weapon to kill them and medical supplies in case you get bitten. But if you don't have any weapons, stay well away as they will chase you until they are killed you get to a safe place or they kill you and they will probably outrun you. 